In this lesson, we're going to talk about how we can graph rational numbers on a number line. Now remember, a rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction. So 1 third, 2 fifths, 25 1 hundredths, those are all rational numbers. Okay. The idea is that if we want to graph a number on the number line, and we have b as a number, a whole number, and we want to locate the unit fraction 1 over b, like say we want to do 1 half, we need to divide the distance between 0 and 1 by the number on the bottom. So if we're doing 1 half, we'd have to divide it into two pieces. If we were doing thirds, we'd have to divide it into three pieces. If we were doing fourths, and four pieces, and so on. And then to locate the fraction, we would take the numerator and count over that many number of segments. So on this graph, we're going to find the number 3 tenths and its opposites. So first, we need to divide our distance between 0 and 1 into 10 pieces. I like to start with halves if I can. And now each of these have to be divided into five pieces. Remember, when we divide it into five pieces, we make four lines. This is one of our lines for the five. So we need to make four evenly spaced lines, like that, and that gives us five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. To make ten, we need five in the other half. And then we have ten. One, one section, two sections, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Each of these is a tenth. This is one tenth, this is two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, 9 tenths, and the last one is 10 tenths. That's equal to 1 whole. It's kind of like a double number line. 10 tenths is the same as 1 whole. If we want to find 3 tenths on this, it's 1, 2, 3 units over, so there is 3 tenths. If we want to find the opposite, we went 3 tenths to the right, so to find its opposite, we need to go the same distance, but in the opposite direction, 3 tenths to the left. So we need to divide this into 10 equal segments. And we would count over 3 segments to the left. 1, 2, 3. This is negative 3 tenths, its opposite. So here's how we find 3 tenths and its opposite, negative 3 tenths, on a number line. This would be negative 1 tenth, negative 2 tenths, negative 4 tenths, negative 5 tenths, and so on. Remember, our numbers go in opposite order when we're going in negatives. We start with a number closest to 0 and move out. In this example, we're going to take a look at a vertical number line. This number line represents the le water level in a lake. The water level of a lake rose 1 and 25 hundredths, 1 and a quarter feet after it rained. We're going to take a look at this gauge and answer the following questions using this number line. Okay, well, We're going to write a rational number to represent the situation. If the water level in the lake rose 101, and 25 hundredths feet. Is that a positive or a negative number? Well, the lake level is going to go up. That's what happens when it rains. The water levels increase. So this would be a positive 1 and 25 hundredths feet. Now, we don't need to put the plus there, but I'm putting it there to show you that it's a positive number and that it's different from a negative number. The next question is what two integers? Integers are different than rational numbers. They're the whole numbers and their opposites on our number line. What two integers is 1 and 25 hundredths between on a number line? 
Well, it's bigger than one, but smaller than two. So one and 25 hundredths is between one and two on a number line. Okay, if we were to take our number line here, and we see here's one, and here's two, and we've got some segments in between. We want to write the length of each of these segments on the number line as a decimal and as a fraction. So we need to count how many segments are in between our whole number. There's one, two, three, four. There are four segments. One, two, three, four. That means each of these is a fourth. So each segment is one fourth. That's its fraction. If we write this as a decimal, remember to turn this into a decimal, we can divide one divided by four. That's 25 hundredths. So each segment is one fourth or 25 hundredths. There's the fraction, there's the decimal. What will be the water level after it rained? We want to graph the point on the number line. Here's one right here. Here's two. Each of these marks represents one fourth or 25 hundredths of a foot in between one and two feet. So if we have one and 25 hundredths, that's one foot plus 25 hundredths of a foot, or one foot plus one quarter. So here's one foot, here's one quarter. This would be one and 25 hundredths, or one and one fourth feet. That's where the water level would be after it rained. The next question asks, after two weeks have passed, the water on the lake is now the opposite of the water level when it rained. The water level when it rained was one and 25 hundredths, or one and one quarter. We want to find the opposite of that value. So the opposite of one and 25 hundredths is negative one and 25 hundredths. We want to graph that point on the number line. Here's zero, here's negative one, Here's negative one and 25 hundredths, or negative one and one fourth. We found that by breaking this up. We have negative one and negative 25 hundredths, or negative one and negative one fourth. Just like before, we had one and one fourth. Now we have negative one and negative one fourth together. It's the exact same distance from zero as one and one fourth, but in the opposite direction. Here's zero. One, two, three, four, five marks up from zero. The opposite is one, two, three, four, five marks down from zero. Our last question asks us to state a rational number that is not an integer, so not a whole number or its opposite, whose value is less than one and 25 hundredths. So whose number is below negative one and 25 hundredths on the number line. And describe its location between two consecutive integers. Okay. So a number that is not an integer that is less than negative one and 25 hundredths 
could be lots and lots of numbers. One example could be negative one and three tenths is between negative one and negative two. We could also go with a number like negative two and forty-seven hundredths. That's between negative two and negative three on the number line. 